Ladies and gentlemen, it is about to go down. At least, I think it is. Uh, it turns out it has to be nighttime when you level up your uh, snome. And Nelson is looking ready. I think it, at least this thing's uh, friendship is ready to go. I did some camping with it. I battled with it quite a bit. Uh, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of these XP candies. And hopefully this is going to work. If this thing doesn't evolve right now, I will eat my shoe. We'll get to 6,000 experience. Get to the level 49. And yes, it is happening. Thank God. Finally, the time has come. Nelson, I did not do enough research on figuring out how the hell to get you to evolve. But... Friendship is coming in clutch, and now look at this absolute beauty. We got ourselves a Frost Moth, and this thing is amazing looking. I really like this. Super cool design. It's typing is definitely unique with the ice and bug. Uh, icy scales fall from its wing fall from its wings like snow as it flies over the fields and mountains. The temperature of its wings is less than negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. My God, that is cold. It's also gonna, oh, yep, definitely gonna learn a new move. We could. <laughs> Certainly use that. We got Icy Wind. And alright, so. Next order of business is to basically just go take on the final gym, which is going to be the Dragon Gym. Which is nice that now we have our solid ice type. I really don't know what kind of dragons they're going to come at us with, but I'm excited to see it. And I'm excited to finally get to the 8th gym. So we're going to heal up here just because it took a little bit of a beating out there. But look at this squad right here. Absolute monsters. I think the team's turning out great. So, uh, before we continue, there's a couple things I want to do. First of all, we can buy some more items. Um, we're going to grab ourselves some more hyper potions just in case. We'll get you, we'll get like 20 more of these just so, uh, okay, 19. I accidentally clicked 19. It's fine. Now we're going to also grab some super potions because sometimes, you know, you don't need to go, you don't need to commit to the whole hyper. And then other than that, we should probably also grab. Um, some revives. We only have four in the bag. We'll just make it a nice ten. Alright, we're probably good on that. But one more thing before we take on the gym is this. We're going to talk to this guy. And we're going to try to remember a move. Now hopefully, Frozmoth has some interesting moves that we can get from this. Because I'm really kind of banking on that. We need a good... We need we need better moves. Alright. Helping Hand, Attract, Stun Spore, Infestation, Mist. Ooh, Aurora Beam. Okay. And Bug Buzz. Yes, we're definitely, definitely teaching this thing Bug Buzz. That is amazing. That's a solid Bug Stab. Special Attack. It's fantastic. Let's try again. I think we probably want to do Aurora Beam as well, to be honest. Let's actually take a look through the whole list here. Aurora Beam. Aurora Veil. Blizzard. Yes, we're teaching you Blizzard. Absolutely. Uh, terrible accuracy, but that is definitely going to be better for us than... Yeah, we'll get rid of Powdered Snow. No more Powder Snow, and then we should probably also just teach it Aurora Beam, just just in case. Let's do it one more time. I also do want to check this on our buddy Toxtricity, just to make sure that thing can't learn anything super crazy. Um, we'll get rid of probably Struggle Bug with Aurora Beam. 65 is just a more reliable ice move. Um, we have Icy Wind for 55, but we'll get some Struggle Bug. So now this thing's ability, or this thing's moveset is looking much better. So now let's take a look at Toxtricity. I think I have tried this one time. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what we, if we can learn. I'm looking ideally for a better special attacking poison move. We have Belch, but that, that's never going to be used. Acid. Acid Spray. Noble Roar. Interesting. Lowers attack and special attack stats. Shockwave is not bad. Venom Drench. Man, Toxic and Poison Jab. So really nothing, nothing too useful here. Kind of a bummer, but I mean our moveset's already pretty decent there anyway, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at our new Mothy Boy. I'm excited about Nelson. I think it was definitely worth the time. It's already level 49, so this thing is ready to go. It has some solid special attack. Not as much speed as I would hope for, but this thing is awesome. Also, we should probably change out your hold item. You don't really need a Soothe Bell anymore, little buddy. So let's see what we've got for you. We have uh, Heavy Duty Boots would be good for this thing in competitive, just so you don't get hurt by Stealth Rock damage. With that typing, you really hate it. Also, we could give it Silver Powder, boost bug moves. Do we have anything that... We haven't never melt ice, I think. We could also give it a Focus Ash. Hmm. Yeah, let's give you a never melt ice. Boost the power of ice moves. I think that'll be helpful. We're going to swap that with the Shell Bell, or Soothe Bell, I mean, not Shell. But, alright. Enough preparation. 
We are about to head into the final stadium. I can't believe we've already made it to the 8th gym. Seems like we got here pretty damn quickly. But here we have the Hammerlock Stadium. We're just going to run right on past. And we've seen this place for a long time, but finally we can actually take it on. Are you ready to face the Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the Dragon User Raihan? I sure am. In that case, please use the changing room, change into your uniform. Let us get it. So, changing for the last time, at least in our gym challenge. So this is exciting. The uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all the gym trainers wait. No, not the stadium, but the vault. Ooh, we gotta head into the vault, huh? So, pretty cool looking uh, little dragon emblem there. Really don't know what kind of dragons this guy's gonna have. The only one that I know of that is a new dragon introduced in this generation is the Duraladon, I think it's called. It's the, the steel thing. So, I'm assuming you got that. That'll be exciting. Let's see, how many gym challenges are left? Huh? Not even ten, eh? Alright then. Hayden, time to explain the great Ryan's gym mission. Let's do it, friend. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Ooh, double battles. Gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. That's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. Super cool. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. So we got three of these people here. I only see two, but... <laughs> Let's get ourselves some double battles. That's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, the dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on, advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. So, we'll see if this guy's gonna actually come at us with any, any interesting uh, double battle strategies, but... For us, we're just gonna go ahead and get some damage. He has a Pelipper and a Sligu. So, it's looking like there's something to the rain team here. So this thing, Pelipper, I'm assuming, is going to have Drizzle. So look, we have something about it, like dry skin, not exactly, but something about it gaining HP from rain, right? So first dragon we see is a Sligu. And check this out. We are about to Blizzard the both of you. And that'll be nice. Also, this actually works out because we have Overdrive with Barney as well. We attack, we have, we're actually pretty set here for double battles. Uh, we go for a Blizzard, and we actually do connect on the Pelipper, though, which is kind of cool. Knocks it down to red, overdrive is going to finish off the Pelipper. So it's cool that you can at least just miss one and then you still have the chance to hit the other. So That is nice, Pelipper goes down. Looks like your strategies are not going to be working too well today, buddy. Barney grows to level 49. And Sligu is now going to Dragon Pulse. So that'll hurt a little bit. Not a whole lot, but now wants to be petted. I would pet you, buddy, but we're kind of in the middle of a battle here. Let's actually just Aurora Beam so we don't have to worry about missing. And then we will just finish you with a not discharge because that's gonna kill both. That's gonna hit Nelson. That is not what we want. So, better knock that thing down. Honestly, really not a whole lot of options, but we knew Aurora Beam was gonna knock this thing out. So that's a dead Sligu. And uh, we love to see that our buddy Slime Shady is back in the game. So that's kinda cool. It's all experience all around. And Sebastian has been defeated, so that's one down. Doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. Makes them difficult, but fun too. Very cool. So we get a bunch of money. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Thanks, buddy. I actually really like their jerseys. Those colors are, those colors are cool. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camilla. All right, lady. She's gonna strut on up to us. So we do get a chance to switch up our mons here, but we're just gonna keep it rolling. I think that. This works out. We probably don't need to heal. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your Pokemon opponent's Pokemon play. That is true. So, Camilla here. Just going to have a Ninetales and a Turtonator. So, last person used a Rain. This, this one's going to use Sun. Ninetales with that Drought ability. Um, is going to help out the Turtonator, I assume, just to give it more fire damage. So, this is a little bit scary. Um, we probably don't want to use Nelson here, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch out. He was worried, so. Alright, let's actually go into... Let's go into Nugget. Uh, we will just let Barney just go for an overdrive. It'll do a lot of damage to both of these things, so. Gonna switch Nelson on out of here, because we really don't have much. This looks like a job for the absolute unit. So, Turtonator is gonna go for his Shell Trap. I believe that means if you use a physical contact move against that thing, you get caught in its trap. But since we're not using that, we should be fine. Overdrive is going to do a lot to the Ninetales. Not so much to the Turtonator, but it's fine. Shell Trap did not work. You failed yourself. Alright. 
Um, let's just go for let's go for a rock blast on the Turdinator. Then we know that one more overdrive is gonna clean up shop. So I'm just gonna shell trap again. That didn't work for you last time. Now the flamethrower is going to hit Toxicity, which does hurt a lot in the sun, but we're able to live luckily. And the overdrive is gonna take care of the nine tails. And then Turdinator. Sorry about it, buddy. But this rock blast is gonna do it to you. It's so weird that Turdinator is a dragon type. What like what's What's up with that? It looks it seems like Colossal and Turdinator would actually be best friends. <laughs> Couple of rocky pointy boys. So that thing is dead, and battle number two has been completed. Not too bad. Get some experience for everybody. Dumbo grows to 49, which is nice. Camilla has been defeated. Weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Get 4,000 bucks for winning. We're moving right along here. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have were well earned. I appreciate that. All right. Last person who, I don't know if we saw you last time, but you're here now. So, hello. Let's go ahead and whoop that ass. And it's time to take on Raihan, which I'm excited to see how that's going to go. All right. So, we can heal. Uh, but I, we probably, yeah, we should probably give Barney a little bit just so we make our lives a little easier here. Hop into here. Hey, let's give you just a hyper. How about that, buddy? All right. A couple of level 49s ready to do the damn thing. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. All right, let's get it. What kind of weather are you going to have? Either sandstorm or hail. It's going to be an Obama Snow and a Hakama O. So we're definitely going to set up the hail. Not really sure what the strategy is there with the, with the uh, Hakama O. So at least it's not a Coma O, which is great. Maybe the maybe the gym leader has a Coma O. Who knows? All right, so there's the snow warning. Um, what we can do here is we can actually bug buzz, which will knock out the Obama Snow. We can either we can choose basically. Actually, might not be a bad idea just to go to for Blizzard. Blizzard is neutral on the Obama Snow. It will kill the Hakama O. And then we can just. Boom Burst, which actually hits everybody, which might not be a good idea, so let's actually maybe just switch out Barney, to be honest. Let's go into a ding. Kind of dumb to switch out here. We could have just Boom Bursted and actually killed everything after the Blizzard. Well, it could actually go first, I think, right? But we'll see if this Blizzard can connect, and it does, so that is great. It is going to kill the hakama O. the Obama Snow is about dead, and not too bad, the new Frozmoth. A great addition to the team. Grows to level 50. Look at this little thing. Growing right before our eyes. So the icy wind is going to hit both of us. Uh, should be alright. Doesn't do much. A little bit to ch ding. We do get the speed drop as well. And then hurt by the hail. Surfetch is like, what the hell did you just send me into, buddy? Okay, now we can actually just bug buzz. We really did not even need to send you in, Chiding. So, that's kind of a dumb idea. Actually, just, we can just first impression. We'll, we'll make it useful for you. Go for that priority. First impression. And down goes the Barack Obama Snow. Critical hit. Does not matter. And we've done it. So now it's time to get the real battle underway. Which we definitely need to heal for before, before we take that on. Just because I want to make sure we're... I want to make sure we're in uh, max fighting strength. Well done. I'm honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. I appreciate that. Nice one, Hayden. You've completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Let's get it. Our eighth and final gym battle is about to go down. But we should, as dumb as that sounds, we should probably still just get everybody to full. We have some random shit here. We have like a, I have like a fresh water. We'll use that on Nelson. And we might as well heal up Young Nugget too. Um, we're just gonna give you a super. Just get everybody to full. Chiding, I don't know if we're gonna be using you in this battle, but you know what, we'll give one to you too. You never know. We're going. We're going in this as prepared as possible. The guys, assuming he's gonna have pretty high level stuff. So let's get it. What is happening? Was that like a supplement advertisement back there? Interesting. All right. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Whoa! Shots fired. I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising, and you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather, he also seeks two-on-two -two battles. Oh, okay, that figures, we're gonna have to do some more doubles. Must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Why you? Well then, let's go ahead and do it. Final gym battle is gonna be a double battle, which is interesting. I'm not opposed, because my team does do pretty well in doubles, so... 
Intense battle music is gonna begin, and let's do it. Gigalith and Flygon. So, not the best for toxicity here at all. Um, we can do our cool little bracelet thing. And, uh, it is a Sandstream Gigalith. Interesting. Well, so the we're just gonna really hope that we hit. Maybe, oh man, this actually wants to be petted. Now's not the time. All right, let's actually just go for an Aurora Beam on the Flygon. I'm sure we'll be able to knock it out. Um, and we definitely want to switch out. Um, don't really want to go into Dumbo in case ground attacks happen. We could go Nugget, but we're still weak to rot. We're weak to everything. We, let's go into Dexter. Got to bring in the starter here. Who does need some level? Level 48, falling a little bit behind. So in comes Dexter, we're gonna Aurora Beam. We didn't really want to go for the Blizzard just because of the chance to miss, especially in the Sandstorm. It's gonna go for a Breaking Swipe, so that hits both of us. And actually does a solid chunk. Also gonna drop Dexter's attack, which doesn't really matter. Aurora Beam is gonna hit, and that's going to be a dead Flygon. So Frozmoth, proving its worth here with a critical hit. The boy is dead. And I believe he has four Pokemon, so. Dexter goes to 49 as Barney goes to four, er, 50. Not too shabby. Gigalith, oh, uh oh. Rock Blast in the Nelson slot. That's gonna absolutely destroy us. So I figured it was worth it for us to just stay in and kill. Kill the Flygon. We probably need to revive that thing eventually. But yeah, that Rock Blast were four times weak to rock. So that was a, that was, that was bad. But we should be okay. Um, since the Sandstorm's out, we can go into Nugget or Dumbo. Either, uh, either or would probably be solid. Let's actually go Dumbo because we have access to bulldoze which should be decent all right santa santa conda he's got one of these damn things a little ground snake with his nostrils that look like eyes just straight up staring at me you're creeping me out all right so um we could go for let's actually just go for an iron head on the santa conda and then we will water pledge the gigalith which should be able to knock it out we saw it didn't have sturdy so Water Pledge doing its thing. Oh, okay. Not quite going to be able to knock it out. That boy a little thicker than I expected. Glare is going to paralyze Dexter. Damn you. It's not fair. Dumbo does get an Iron Head off. Does over half to the Santa Conda. And now a Body Press. So, ouch. Just ganging up on my boy Dexter like that. Not nice. Get hurt by some Sandstorm. And, okay. So now, let's go ahead and Iron Head the Santa Conda again. And I should probably, should probably heal up Dexter here. Do I have a full restore? I don't think I even do. I do not. Damn it. Well, let's just use a hyper. Ensure we can get you back to full. So a little bit of an interesting battle here. I expected more dragons. Look at this guy out here with a damn Gigalith and a Sandaconda. That's going to go for an Earth Power. Oh, that's going to destroy Dumbo. Does a lot of damage. Please, Gigalith, don't, don't hurt me. Okay, Iron Head takes care of the Sandaconda. Not too shabby. And Gigalith Body Press probably gonna be on. Nope. Okay, just destroying Dumbo. That's fine. We were able to take care of the Sandaconda, and I, I, I sure could have played this a lot better. Now that I think about it, <laughs> but everything's fine. All right, get a free switch in here. Let's go into. Uh, let's go Chiding, I guess. And there it is! Young cheese grater ass looking ass dragon comes out here. <laughs> I actually really do like this thing a lot though. Yo, and that's actually perfect because Chiding uh, can hit hard, decently hard with with a brick break. But now we have a different, a difficult scenario here. We need to get rid of the Gigalith, but he's also going to go ahead and he's going to Dynamax that Duraludon. I, I know it for sure. It's definitely his ace. Um... So should I heal somebody up here? What would be my best bet? I think, honestly, healing Dumbo might not be a bad idea because we can get a good... We could Dynamax this thing and get a nice uh, bulldoze off on the Duraludon. I don't know if we really even need it. You know what? Let's do it just in case. We're going we're gonna to play it safe here. So let's go for a revive. I don't think I have any max revives. We're going to revive young Dumbo. And then we are going to have... Actually, wait. Let's have Chiding use Brick Break on the Duraludon. And then in Dexter's slot, we will revive the Elephant. So, Dumbo gonna get some health. Bring you back to life. Even though I really wish I had a Max Potion, that would be great. But, 
So it's time to see what this thing is going to turn into. I assume it has a Gigantamax form. Young refrigerator looking ass dinosaur. Dragon Boy is about to get massive. So let's see how this goes. Holy sweet Jesus, it's a skyscraper. It literally turns into an entire building. <laughs> oh my god. So at level 48, this thing is going to be difficult to take care of. We might have ourselves an interesting time here. Let's do it. Time for our G-Max Depletion. Depletion? <laughs> Depl I thought he was saying a fucking Pokemon's name. <laughs> G-Max Depletion is definitely going to hurt. So that does a decent amount to Dexter. The good news is we're going to stall out this guy's Dynamax turns. And uh, we do get a Brick Brick off, which does almost half, which is great. We didn't even need to. We could have just used Surf Eps the whole time. Gigalith is going to set up the Stealth Rock. Okay, the late game rocks. I see you. We might not even need to Dynamax here. Or we could just make Surf Fetch huge, which... I kind of wasted a turn reviving Elephant Boy. You know what? Let's just Dynamax. We're going to Max Knuckle, which will take care of the Duraludon. And then we are going to hopefully break through the Paralysis here, unless we actually get attacked, which in which case it'll be fine, because if we can take care of the Duraludon, we'll be all right. So let's make Sir Fetch massive. We really did not need to use my Frozmoth nearly as much as I was expecting, but you know, that's fine. So Sir Fetched gets massive that is the biggest pissed off duck the world has ever seen so go ahead and double that HP and time to see what happens here so G-Max depletion yet again but should ding be taking that nicely so that is fine by me next up Max Knuckle should be able to take care of your cheese gator oh it didn't kill the damn cheese grater dragon all right, it lived it. We do get an attack boost from that though, which is great. And Water Pledge does, we do break through the paralysis, down goes the Gigalith, not even bad. So it's just us and this big ass dragon. So he has one turn left on the Dynamax. Jadane wants to learn Slam. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep old moves. Do not want, want Slam. Sandstorm goes away, so that's kind of nice. We don't have to worry about that. And all right. Skyscraper, it's just me and you, buddy. Max Knuckle, about to do the damn thing. Water Pledge, just in case I hit the wrong slot, but it really does not matter. So one more G Max depletion. I don't know what even what even that is, but we take it relatively nicely. And now it is time for you to die. One last Max Knuckle, and we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I got my eighth badge. Unless this guy pulls out some crazy shenanigans, we get, always get the critical hit when we don't need it. Seriously, every single damn time. <laughs> but I really do like this thing a lot. It's unfortunate we had to kill you. I would like to get one of my own, but... So, Sir Fetch, you can come back to normal size. And, uh, not too shabby. So, Raihan has been defeated. Revived my elephant for no reason, but we're playing it safe. Might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie? <laughs> oh my god. He's got his Rotom phone just flying there. Well then. Let's see how this goes. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival seems I've grown, a qu grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team, I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the dragon badge. So, we get to satisfyingly see our little badge ring be fully filled out we have done it you can now catch Pokemon of any level so that's awesome now win your way through the semifinals and finals and chain your chance to challenge Leon you must you owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today I probably need to do some grinding to do that to be quite honest but you've collected all of the gym badges at last it's time for the champion cup I look forward to seeing how you how you do in battle hey Hayden What's up, buddy? Can I get your outfit? Shit was pretty hot. Sorry to hold you there. Hold you up. Something I forgot. First off is a sign of my respect here. TM99 contains move, break, and swipe. <laughs> so we get TM99. Breaking swipe, huh? What is that? Swings its tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stats. And secondly, here's the Dragon-type gym uniform. That's what we're looking for. Thank you, sir. Number 69, Challenger Hayden. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region. All right. I'm here just to see how good you are. 
there you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies. I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you, Hayden. And even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Hayden. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up for it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. So, that's basically him saying that we should certainly not go straight to <laughs> the semifinals and finals and then try to take on Leon because we're only around level 50 and we could definitely use some grinding. Well, hello there. You gave Raihan a good thrashing and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. Ooh, what is going on? The light that covered Hammerlock is just like the darkest day, where it said the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gala region. Certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen, uh, fallen to us. Still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the heroes actually were. Legendary Sword and Shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Ooh, she graduated. Are you sure? Grant, I haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. So we love to see uh, our queen Sonya. She's finally gotten the respect she freaking deserves. Check her out. Professor Sonya, it looks great. Yeah, yeah. The two heroes protected the Galar region from the darkest day and the legend of the sword and shield. You just mentioned it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the ones to take down Leon, or I don't want to miss that. Not to worry. You can count on me to take care of everything. You focus on getting to Winden. Go on. Head to the station or you'll miss your train. Head into Winden, huh? Well, people are uh, kind of waving us off. Did we get healed up here? Oop, didn't mean to hit bag. But we did, so we're looking good to go. And we go to the station, huh? Where is, Where was... The station is actually over to the right. Just kidding. Going the entirely wrong way. I'm about to be the damn champion. I still don't know my way around Hammerlock, but here we go. So, we are headed in yonder. And what is up? Wait up, Hayden. I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time. What, really? Once I got my head on straight, I stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. So, wow, he beat him in like two minutes. <laughs> Great job, Hop. And he never stopped nattering, nattering on through the entire battle. Well, you're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine and proven by the dragon badge you won for me. Man, Raihan just had a tough day. <laughs> it came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Hayden. So I'll wring out every last thing I learned from my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, Hayden. The train's waiting. Alrighty then. Did not expect Hop to win. So, we are on the train. And I guess we're headed toward where, like, the finals are going to be. Just tapping our feet, scrolling. <laughs> Scrolling on, an, on a blank blank screen. We finally headed for Winden. Ooh, looks, looks like a crazy ass place. There's a lot I want to check out there. Big tower. Winden Stadium. The whole gallery. No, the whole world is going to be watching us. Hot damn. Seems like just yesterday we got our first Mons Hop. You get it right, me, me and you are going to make our match. They're the greatest there ever was. Well, I'm excited to see Hop's final team, to be honest. But we definitely assuming we need to do some grinding. wonder what scenery would appear... All the snow on Route 10 melted away. No idea, sir. So, we're supposed to make our way to Winden. Where even are we? Okay. Pretty snowy. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. I would assume so. Come on, Hayden. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to a new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden. All right. So it looks like we have... Uh, let's check out the map just to... Just to kind of see the route here. Got a nice little windy road up to where we're headed. And then there's even the big stadium there where I assume the finals are going to be. So, let's go ahead and change up the lead here. Frozmoth, you got yourself up to level 50. You're looking good. Uh, we'll put Dumbo there for now. And get everybody, try to evenly level them. Also, we have uh, a Vanillux right here. There's also a Max Revive, so that's pretty nice. I wonder what other stuff there is in this grass. Anyway, let's battle this guy. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. You know, I don't, but if you could heal my mons after the battle, that would be... That would be greatly appreciated, Dr. Graham. He's got a Gardevoir, which is fine by us. You can just Iron Head the heck out of you. 
So it's a bummer that it's hailing because we get hurt by the hail, but it should be all right. It goes for a dazzling gleam, which is not very effective, and Iron Head gonna ruin your whole day, which does knock you out in one hit. So level 45 Gardevoir, decent training area here. One of the better ways to train in this game is actually to do max raids and get those candies. Nugget grew to 49, looking nice. And Graham's been defeated. What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Yeah, you gotta heal your own Pokemon now, buddy. <laughs> so, continuing. Got ourselves a nice little hallway here, it looks like. Probably should be on my bicycle, but, you know, we're getting that leg strength going. Man, this camper's just chilling right in the middle. What's up, buddy? Oh my god, there's a Mr. Mime back there. Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain, com mountain climbing is dangerous. Words of wisdom. Right there, buddy. So, Douglas here. Got some sweet goggles. He has a Steelix. So, yet again, pretty good for... A little Dumbo. It's a good thing I uh, let off with this thing. So, level 45 Steelix. We're just going to bulldoze you. Very physically defensive, so it's not quite going to knock it out in one hit. But we're going to try our best. Not even two hits. Hot damn. Now it's going to curse. So that's going to raise its defenses even more. And that is annoying. So you know what we're going to do? We're not going to let you get away with that. That easy, sir. We are going to get hurt by the hail, along with the Steelix build as well. And it is now time to switch. We're going to go into Dexter for this thing, because we're going to hit you with a special attacking water move, because we don't want to deal with your damn physical defenses and all that curse action. So it's actually going to dig, uh, which is annoying, because now it has a raised attack. The dig is actually going to do some decent damage. And now we have to basically just water pledge the air, because this thing is underground, which is annoying. Hopefully we can live this dig, which we should be able to, but... Ooh, does over half to us. Hot damn, if we're, having, if we're having trouble with these people, we definitely need to grind quite a bit more before thinking about camping Dexter's. He's like, this is stupid. We could be chilling eating curry right now. Instead, you're getting me attacked by a giant metal snake. But that is going to knock it out, so. Down that thing goes. Dexter goes to 50 and gets hurt by some hail. Sorry about that, little buddy. All right, what do you got next for me? Did not see because I mash A. I have a terrible habit of that. But we're going to switch. And let's go into Surf Fetch because it seems like it might be useful. Why do I mash A so quickly? The world may never know. I'm like worse with this than I am with the speed up button on emulators. But Chiding comes in and it's a Mudsdale. So fuck, I should have just stayed in. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Well, we're going to switch then. <laughs> and let's actually, let's go and do, uh, let's go into Nelson here. If this thing goes for like a rock slide or anything like of that sort, we're going to have a terrible time. But... Nelson's out here in his element in the snow. This guy is loving life. High horsepower, so... Goes ahead and kicks the shit out of me. But we take it. Nice little ground move. And it is time to go for a blizzard. Please hit this blizzard, Nelson, I beg of you. Thank God, we do. Alright, so that's gonna be a dead Mudsdale. And we are moving along. We saw the Mr. Mime over there. I need to see... Is Mr. Mime in this game freaking ice type? What's going on here? I know nothing these days. You won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. And that is correct. So, look at this freaking thing. Just leave, why are you just dancing around like that? Okay, so we, I guess we'll leave Dumbo in front. Let's go ahead and check this Mr. Mime out. Galarian Mr. Mime is a thing. And look at him, he's hilarious. So, what level is this thing gonna be? It is level 46. Hot damn. Let's go for a heavy slime and let's see if it kills it. It's gonna hypnosis and avoid it. Thank thankfully, Dumbo. A pretty big target. That was pretty lucky. Heavy slam is actually just gonna absolutely destroy this thing. So, you know what? Not catching you today. I will probably catch a Mr. Mime eventually. Just because I do know that there is actually an evolution or something for that thing. I've seen screenshots and it looks different and I'm so confused. Ooh, there's an Obama Snow over there. That's crazy. I don't really want to don't really want to mess with you, sir. But if you could move, that would be kind of cool. So I could, like, see if there's anything for me over there. But, uh-oh, uh -oh, he's, he's ready for me. You know what? We're going the other way. Another Mr. Mime, which is fine. But we have ourselves a, looks like a business guy again. So let's go ahead and Hyper Potion up to full. Get Dumbo back into fighting shape. We'll also give one to Dexter. Looks like we're on quite a tough route here, so could use all the help we can get. What's up, friend? I get more nervous about battles than work. You don't say. 
Well, Ronald's here taking a selfie. You looking? You got some crazy looking eyes there, Ronald. You have a Weavile, so this is good for us. We can just uh, hit you with a nice little steel move, and you're gonna have a bad time. Does have pressure? Does not matter at all. Why my my Pokemon? Since I camped with them and made their like friendship better, they like always like say little things. So it like, seems worried about performing in this battle. It's like. <laughs> You'll be fine. You have the tight matchup. Why would you feel worried? Heavy slam. Absolutely land on your Weavile. And you dead. With a critical hit, which I don't think mattered. So, down goes Zoo Weavile. And what do you got next for me, business guy? Also, what are you doing out here in a damn suit and tie? Next is a Claydol. So, interesting, he has a Claydol. We did see one of these things in the wild area, but... I haven't seen many Claydols around these parts does have earth power which I definitely should have just switched into Dexter because I don't think this heavy slam is gonna be able to kill it shit yep not quite knocks it down to red the hail is actually gonna be able to do it for us nice so we don't even get hit by the hail because that oh I know we do just kidding false alarm double does grow to 51 wants to learn Ooh, trying to learn play rough which is a fantastic fairy move uh, let's get rid of Iron Defense. Probably don't need that. We also have two Steel moves. We actually don't need both, but now we have Play Rough, so that's pretty cool. And Ronald has been defeated. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battle man? <laughs> this man's got a point. He has got a point. All right. Uh, so let's switch up the lead here. We can go with... Um, let's put Nugget in front. Let's see how you do, because you need some levels, buddy. All right, some more Mr. Mimes <laughs> just dancing around. Oh my god, look at how they walk toward you. <laughs> I love him. Anyway, do you know the old legend that says the Galar, that Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? You know, I haven't, but I would be interested to hear about that. See, this guy's the only guy that's, like, dressed for the damn cold. He has a Corviknight. Of course he does. And we have a Nugget, which we should be alright here. We can go for Flame Charge, which is super effective. Steel Flying Corviknight. Looking pretty badass. Yeah, so we'll just go for the flame charge. I kind of wish we would learn a better move, to be honest. So we get swaggered, which actually couldn't be bad because, I mean, it, it might not be bad. Because if we don't hit ourselves in confusion, we should be able to knock this thing out. Or at least have double attack. So please don't hit yourself, Nugget. Come on. Yes, we break through. Flame charge is going to hit. We also are going to get the speed boost as well. Um, so now we just got to hope that we don't hit ourselves again. We get hit by the hail. So does the Corviknight. And thinking about camping. Me too, buddy. Me too. So we're confused. We are faster now because of the speed boost. And we do break through and get another flame charge. So it looks like Colossal is going to be gonna be sweeping our way through here. As long as we don't hit ourselves in confusion. We might have probably have to actually uh, snap out of the confusion here too. So Solid experience. Hit by some hail. What else you got, sir? Next is a Flygon. Alright, you know what? Flygon, we're actually going to switch out. We're going right into Nelson for this thing. We are used to absolutely freezing the shit out of Flygon, so Nelson's got it. I'm just gonna Aurora Beam you so we don't have to worry about missing the Blizzard. Four times a week to Ice should be fine. So we got faster. Aurora Beam looking pretty cool. That's a dead Flygon. Level 46, boy. I'm really interested to know what levels we're gonna have to go up against soon. It's probably gonna be scary. Joffrey's been defeated. He said he doesn't know much about the old legend. Why are you telling me about it then, buddy? Well, um, we could heal here. We're going to give one to Dumbo. Nugget's looking all right, though. So let's keep on keeping on. We have a police officer there. We can head left, though, where uh, there's a Sneasel and a Snover. And, oh, Jesus, that little guy is quick. I thought uh, this way we would be able to see a different area, but maybe I'm supposed to go left. No, I guess not. Well... Let's just battle this police officer. What's up? Or mailman, actually. The post. I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. I've, I've called these guys police officers in the past, uh, but they're obviously just freaking postmen. <laughs> so, Harper here. What do you got for me, sir? We have a Pelipper. So, not the best for Colossal at all. We really don't want to get hit with a water move. So, you know, we're going to have to go ahead and switch on out of here. So, it actually is going to activate Drizzle, so no more hail, which is nice. Don't have to worry about getting hurt every damn turn so we can switch dozing off must be sleepy let's go into Barney for this thing can absolutely zap the shit out of you and you four times weak to electric looking ass we'll be alright 
This is actually just going to Tailwind, so surprisingly did not use a water move against freaking Colossal. And that is why you're a Postman and not a Battler guy. So <laughs> let's just Overdrive you, just to ensure the Overkill doesn't have Water Pulse. Actually hurts quite a bit in the rain because it gets a boost in attack. But the Overdrive is going to do its thing. So Pelipri be dead. And experience all around. What else you got? Next is a Noctowl. We're just going to stay in for Noctowl. We can just zap that thing too. It's kind of fitting that the Postman has flying types. You can just send his letters with these little guys. So Air Slash, as long as we don't flinch, we will be okay. Don't flinch, please. Yeah, we break through. Overdrive is going to absolutely destroy you. And I really like how the final team is looking. I think that we're going to have a... We're going to have a good time against whatever we come across in the finals. I lost. When I think about it, I don't didn't ever want it to ever end. What? Really? Okay. Just really like that ass whooping, huh? Well, so we do have a hidden item here, which is a comet shard. And then that's all there really is here. So it just kind of like loops around. But what was that way? Hold up. There was something where that Obama snow was where I should have checked out. Yeah, there's, a, there's an item right there, but we can't. Trainer tips. The Dynamax phenomenon is caused by a special power that originates from within Pokemon. Uh, didn't really need that information. Oh, we ran into another damn Mr. Mime. You're st <laughs> Somehow you're even more creepy than a normal Mr. Mime. So, you know what? We are just going to run from you. How do I get to that item that was over there? I'm, con I'm confused. I feel like it shouldn't be that damn difficult, but... All right, heading back this way. Maybe this route isn't all that large after all. It seems like it kind of ends over here pretty soon. So, just kind of wade our way through the creepy-ass Mr. Mimes. And, was it this way? It's got to be this way. Oh, Cub Chew, get out of my way. All right, so there's the item. It is a power herb, which is actually a pretty decent, decent move, depending on what you're looking for. Then we got ourselves a big ass bear tick right there. Also, guy camping over here. Here's a hidden item. It is a bottle of pee pee up. Nice, a little some Viagra. Uh, wasn't there. Just kidding. I guess we could pay them a visit. But let's battle this guy. What's up, friend? Also, there's another trainer over there. A Pokemon trainer. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. No one's making you battle, bro. <laughs> You're literally not forced into this, but. You got a Gigalith. Very interesting. We'll see if this thing sets up Sandstorm. Probably don't want to leave Nugget in here. Tis Hailing. Yep, it does have the Sandstream. So, hidden ability, Gigalith. Gonna get rid of the Hail. Now it's a freaking Sandstorm out here. And we're gonna switch. Let's just go into Dexter because we can Water Pledge you. Which is our best bet. rock slide so that's gonna kind of hurt a little bit does less than half though so we're all right we do get hurt by the sandstorm which is freaking annoying and water pledge come on pledge wow it lived it how the hell did you live that it's like it had a built-in sturdy okay so luckily though we're able to take one more sandstorm damage we should be able to knock this thing out what the freaking heck how did you live that gigalith what kind of special defense you got buddy Sweet Jesus. Alright. Gigalith is dead. What else do you have, guy? So many trainers on this route. Hurt by the Sandstorm. Ouch. Knocks us down to six. Next is a Rhydon. You know what? Let's just stay in here on the Rhydon. We're going to die to the next Sandstorm damage, but we will at least be able to kill it with this Water Pledge. This guy just really likes, uh, likes his team to be super weak to water. So that's going to take care of it. See you later, Rhydon. More experience, Barney 52, Nelson 52. Barney wants to learn Magnetic Flux. What the hell is that? Manipulates magnetic fields, which raises the defense and special defense of ally Pokemon with plus or minus ability. We are not going to learn that because that's only good for double battles. And we ain't got time for that. Ooh, Nelson learned Quiver Dance. Hell yes. I was wondering if we're going to get Quiver Dance. Let's go ahead and get rid of Icy Wind. Um, and look at the moveset on this thing. Absolute beast. Got ourselves some Quiver Dance now. That's going to be super nice. It raises our special attack and special defense is the only stats we care about. So, continuing on, we got another gentleman guy here. Let's, uh, 
What is leave Barney in front? Hopefully we don't have to use Inteleon. But we'll see. The way you carry yourself, you are something. You know? I appreciate that. These guys really know how to give you a nice gentleman compliment. He has a Darmanitan. Interesting. So he's got the Galarian Darmanitan, which is a crazy ass poke. He's a freaking snowman. Also, this thing's Zen form turns into an actual snowman with like fire busting out of its nose. It's it, it's a whole thing. It's gonna go for a taunt, which is interesting because we don't really don't really have to worry about that too much as long as we hit Rock Blast at least three times. We should be good. Come on. Yeah. Darmanitan is dead. I really wish I could get one of those, but I'm pretty sure they're only in a uh, sword version, which is annoying, but. Darmanitan has fainted. Next is some hail. And then what? Phalanx. Nice. That thing's just a pure fighting type. Um, for that, I guess. I mean, let's just go into Nelson. I really thought Phalanx would evolve, but it turns out this thing doesn't. I mean, it's just, it's got a cool design either way. But pretty sure it's just a pure fighting type. And we caught ours. I'm pretty sure I checked that out. So, little Phalanx here. Going to be marching. And we're gonna go for a blizzard here. Luckily, we do connect. And that is gonna hurt. I don't care who you are. A blizzard from a frost moth definitely hurts. Plus, I have the never melt ice. Just boosts all around. Next is a grappleoct. Nice. So, another one of them fighting octopus things, which we haven't seen in a while. But we can just go ahead and blizzard you two. Fighting octopus, we do connect. And that's going to kill it. Look at Frozmoth doing its thing. All right. Nugget, 51. Chiding, 52. Hell yeah. And Glenn has been defeated. Your Pokemon are simply marvelous. This guy's... What a, what a nice guy. All right. And then we have freaking TV crew up here. What is up? It's been a while. Glad we could meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and trainers really shine with something special when they're on camera. They sure do. So, got ourselves a double battle here. Um, is Toxtricity still in the second slot? Oh, Clink Clang and a Heliolisk. So, quite the interesting team you got there. We got Nugget and Barney. Um, let's just go ahead and Flame Charge on the Clink Clang. And then we should probably switch Barney out, to be honest. We'll go into, we'll go into Dumbo. I would like to use Bulldoze, but it's just going to kill Colossal. So, maybe not, a, not the best idea. But in comes the Dumbo. Here's a Mud Slap, which I forgot that Heliosk even does Mud Slaps. <laughs> Poor choice. And then a Zap Cannon. Not going to hurt us very much, but we do get paralyzed, which is freaking annoying. I think that has a great chance to get paralyzed. But we break through with the Flame Charge. He's not quite going to knock it out, but we're doing a lot. Get that speed boost doesn't really matter because we're paralyzed, but it is time. Let's, um... Should I just bulldoze? <laughs> I might just do it anyway. We're going to flame charge you. And we're going to click bulldoze. Which hits everybody, but it's fine. It's the price you pay. Now the Helios, go Helios goes for a thunder, which is a much better option. That does a lot of damage. And we get paralyzed too. What? Why? Zap cannon? Avoided it. Nice. Nugget's fully paralyzed. And Dumbo is fully paralyzed. Really? What the fuck? That was extremely annoying. Everybody's got to get hurt by the hail now. I'm bummed. How could you do this to me? We're going to flame charge again. We're going to hope that it don't thunder us again and kill us. That uh, goes for the thunder. Yep, and it connects. And that's going to kill whoever you attack. It's going to be Dumbo. Of course it is. That was my win condition. You got the damn para. It really destroyed me there. That was literally the worst case scenario. I've gotten one attack off on these damn people. Please. Let me kill you. And we get fully paralyzed again. Jesus, these fucking people are cheating. The hail's doing more damage than we have. Alright, it's over for you hoes now. Because we're bringing out the Chidin. Which can kill either of you. Heliolisk is an interesting type with the normal and electric, so it makes it weak to fighting. Um, we're just going to flame charge you one more time, at least try to. And now we can brick break the Heliolisk, so... Please. Mud Slap does a lot. And it's going to drop our accuracy. Am I going to gear grind? Okay. That's that's fine. Nugget, we are going to die. Can we get the flame body just to expedite the process here? 
Flame body, please. Damn it. Okay. Doesn't activate our ability. But that's fine. Chiding does get a brick break off, which should kill the Heliolisk. It sure does. Heck and finally, your damn lizard is dead. And now, Kling Kang, hurt by the hail, still gonna need like two more times freaking hail damage to die. The Kling Kling's over there like, please just kill me. All right, let's just go into Nelson now. This is the last Pokemon. It really doesn't matter what we bring. Oh no, just kidding. Noivern. Oh Jesus. Okay, well it's a good thing we brought in Frozmoth then, because Noivern is freaking scary. Let's um go for an Aurora Beam on you. And then we will Brick Break on the Kling Kling. So it looks like we chose correct. Uh oh, Hurricane. That's that's uh that's gonna kill us. Damn it! Noivern is too quick, Nelson. You're not fast enough, buddy. Man, this is actually a this is a tough freaking battle. My god. Still got two more Pokemon. Gear grind gonna knock us down to about half. And the hurricane is gonna easily kill Jading next turn. But the brick break is able at least to take care of the Kling Clang. And my god, we had a rough start and still doing not the best. Okay. So Hale's gonna be doing its thing. What's the la what's what else you got for me? Okay. So let's go into Barney. Um, we're probably going to need to heal that thing up as well. Togedemaru. Interesting. So the Noivern can just hurricane and kill Farfetch'd. But let's go ahead and we have to heal up here. This is this is a scary battle. These people are freaking... These people are good. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. No. We, we do want to use that. I accidentally hit B. Barney, give you that. And then let's just... Use a brick break on the Togedemaru, but we're not going to be able to get that off because the freaking hurricane's going to happen. But at least we're able to get Toxtricity up to full. There's the hurricane. It does unfortunately connect, and that's a dead ass Jading. So Farfetch goes down. Hit two of its hurricanes. I you hate to see it. And there's a Zing Zap, which is fine, not very effective. Freaking hail comes in. Literally the longest battle ever. Please just let me win. Okay, everybody is dead. And Dexter is... Dexter is literally almost dead too. Am I going to lose to these people? Sweet Jesus. I am afraid. Alright, Barney, we need to overdrive the shit out of that Noidburn and ensure we kill it. Also going to hit the Toki tomorrow for some damage too. And then we need to Hyper Potion up Dexter. Everything is dying. God. The Toki tomorrow is going to have a super effective hit on Dexter as well, but at least we'll be able to live it. There's a Tailwind, so that's that's nice that you did that for me. Thank you for not attacking. Next is a Fel, Fel Stinger. Uh, you could have definitely used literally anything else and it would have worked out better, but thank you for that. Now we get an Overdrive off, freaking finally. And it is going to kill the Noivern, does a bunch to the Toga de Mario. Now we actually got a crit on it, so that's nice. We're getting a little bit lucky again, boys. Thank the Lord. All right. Just gotta kill this stupid balloon mouse, and then we'll be A-OK. -okay. So we're just going to, I mean, it doesn't really matter what we click, we're just gonna click Overdrive, and then Dexter, you can do your thing with Water Pledge. Yes. Zing Zap, it goes first. Zing Zap isn't priority, is it? Damn it, that knocks out Dexter. Oh, fuck. I didn't think that thing was gonna be able to get off a of Zing Zap. Oh, God, this is bad. This is a tough battle. Okay, thank God. We're able to kill the Toga de Maru. Whew. Why did you guys make my life so difficult? We got to level 53 there. We need all the damn levels we can get. They have been defeated. Wow, that was... That was way harder than I had anticipated. So. I don't think there's any more freaking trainers here. We can finally run up this way. If there are, we're screwed. But. Nice little flock of Corvus Squires flying by. And we're going to ride our bike down this because that looks like a sweet hill to bomb. And we are about to head on in. But we're going to wait till next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.